Caitlin from Chef Caitlin. <clears throat> a little bit better of a mood today than last time. Oh, notice this. This is from um, a partner wad we did, and it involved one person working while the other planks. And so in the process of planking, I was sweating a lot. And when the sweat was dripping down to my elbows, um, I would kind of like move around because the plank was so painful. And then this happened. I kind of finished the wine. I was like, since when are my elbows so raw? And it was just, it was weird. So, today I'm in a little bit of a better mood. Not sure why. Um, I got to, I got some good sleep the last couple of nights. I attribute a lot to that. And also just eating a lot more healthy fats has been helping a lot. Um, I had a lot of guacamole last night. I got some um, chipotle after my last class last night kind of a little, you know, reward for myself. I know it's not good to reward yourself with buying things or buying stuff or buying food, but I really get a lot of joy from buying Chipotle and frozen yogurt. So, and yes, I got frozen yogurt the other night, and yes, I'm fine with that. Um, I know I've been taking as what Kelly Alexa likes to regard as a paleo approach, not necessarily a paleo diet, because um, diet really brings the notion that I'm very, that one is very strict about their diet or that they eat a very certain way, but um, I do like to think of it kind of like an approach because everyone, you know, goes about it differently. Like for a while I was putting cream in my coffee and now I'm completely happy with, you know, um, just stevia and coconut milk or straight up black coffee. Um, so I kind of play by ear and do that. Um, I have my next class in about an hour at 2 o'clock, um, and it's a nice thing today is my rest day because I have 8 hours of classes today. I had a 9.30 to 10.50, and I'm not sure if my roommate's on, but I had a 9.30 to 10.50, and then I came home, I hand seared up some pork loins, um, and I had one on a salad for lunch, and then... I'm putting the other one on a salad that I'm going to be bringing to my next long time of classes along with plenty of snacks including lar bars, apples, uh, maybe even a shaker bottle with some protein powder that always helps give me that energy boost. Um, I have been trying to get in, I have been trying to get in a lot more vegetables, things in the produce department, um, and that's working a little bit. Um, but the thing is, on days like today, when I have eight hours of classes, it's a teensy bit hard to get all my veggies in. So I try to have a bunch at lunch, but um, I also have to remember that I need to eat um, a lot more energy-dense foods to keep me through the next however long time of classes before I can eat again. Um, gosh, I hope you guys can hear me over this fan. I forgot I had it on. Um, this is my class outfit for the day, just bandeau, little, you know, flowy top, Forever 21, I think, I can't remember, oh, and this is my arch support, yes, I brought my own desk chair to my apartment, it came with one, but I wasn't very impressed with it, um, it didn't have very good support, it was just kind of like a wooden chair, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, this is my current planner. Pen just fell out of it, whatever. Um, I have a, a Covadis planner on its way, a day planner, recommended by um, a Twitter friend who I found through Kathy, um, Kathy Younger. So it was helpful. Thanks, Kath. And thanks, Sarah, from the shoebox, SHU. Um, wow, I'm just kind of rambling right now. I'm in a really good mood because... I just had the weirdest day. I, like, I wasn't, I knew I had to take a rest day. Um, I've been following, I need to start saying I'm less. I've been following <clears throat> Outlaw CrossFit programming for the last few days. Uh, outlawcoach.wordpress.com. Um, really cool guy. He puts up different training plans every single day. He's got it. I mean, he knows more about programming than I do, so... Um, a lot of the trainers at my gym were like, hey, if you're looking to be seriously competitive, check out Outlaw. So I did, and it's pretty badass, if I do say so myself. 
Um, this week is kind of a testing week, um, so we're going for max weights, PRs, um, figuring out what those max weights are. So when you go into other workouts and it says go to 70% of max, you know what that is. Um, definitely a little bit of a lighter load this week. We did bench pressing and weighted pull-ups yesterday. Um, I did not get a bench press PR. Um, my current max is 85 pounds, and I tried to do that yesterday, and it was actually a lot heavier than I remember it being. Um, so either I'm really bad at math, or I've gotten a little bit weaker. I'm not sure which. Um, I also, I've kind of tra transitioned from doing afternoon workouts over the summer. I was doing 4.30 p.m. to doing morning workouts now at either 7 a.m. or 11 a.m., something like that. Um, so I've been following Outlaw. He's great. Check him out. He's really funny. He's a little bit candid, um, possibly a little bit, you know, dirty language for some of you guys, but I don't mind it. I enjoy it. I think it's hilarious. Um, so that's kind of the training department. But anyways, as I was saying, um, Outlaw and actually a lot of other people, just CrossFit people, trainers in general, um, especially Dave Castro, if you watch any of the CrossFit HQ videos, they talk a lot about programming. They actually had a, a series of a few different videos um, specifically about CrossFit training programming, whether it's, um, you know, concentrating strength training into the fall and then winter more Metcon and then, you know, kind of working on um, regionals workouts towards uh, late winter and spring, um, but also day to day. So thinking about doing three days of really high intensity and just putting it all out there, rest day, two days rest, um, so kind of going five, three rest, two rest, if that makes any sense. So two rest days a week. Um, to me at first I was kind of like, holy crap, I want to be, I want to be working out six days a week, but I just don't think that's possible. And it's also, it makes sense theoretically that if you take a little bit more rest, even if you don't like it, I don't like rest days. I hate rest days, so today I'm kind of enjoying it. But my point is, taking those rest days kind of revamps your body so that when you're, when it's time to go back and it's time to go back into the gym and train, you are able to put it all out on the table and it's just going to be your highest intensity and it's... That, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm not speaking real English. But that's basically the down low, in my opinion. Um, so what else? I just had a salad with a bunch of greens, green peppers, carrots, and then I put um, the, per por the, per the pork loin on top, um, olive oil, balsamic vinegar. I know that balsamic isn't really a good flavor with pork. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm thinking more about like culinary flavor combinations. Um, and I was thinking about doing like a honey type thing. I don't have any honey, so I just went with balsamic. Um, put some blueberries on there, sunflower seeds. So good. I love blueberries. I love berries. They're my favorite thing in the world. Um, I actually haven't had a banana in multiple weeks. I've just been having blueberries, raspberries, blackberries are super expensive, so I don't buy them, raspberries and blueberries, um, and golden delicious apples. I like those. They're pretty golden and delicious. Um, but yeah, today's my rest day. So much time. Actually, really not that much time, because I have so much class. Um, I was late for my, my 9.30 class today. Shame on me. I set so many alarms, but of course I just, you know lazy pants, sleeping forever, um, I swear, I try to tell people, um, I sleep like a log, I sleep like an absolute rock. When I was little, I actually slept through an earthquake once, when we were living up in New Hampshire, yes, there was an earthquake in New Hampshire, go figure, um, but I slept through it, I woke up, my parents go, Caitlin, what'd you think of that earthquake? And I was like, what are you talking about? And they're like, you really didn't feel it? And I was like, no, I was dead asleep. I can sleep through anything. I can sleep through any alarm, any noises on my phone. I could probably sleep through someone jumping on me and I wouldn't even notice. So my poor roommate, if she ever has to get me up, which I hope she doesn't, 
um, she would have a really difficult time. She might have to just throw a bucket of cold water on me. That might be the only solution. Or put coffee, like fresh brewed coffee, like right under my nose. Like, mm. And I had double espresso. I went to class. I went through all class with no coffee in my system. Absolutely not. I had breakfast, and then I went to class. I drove to class. I was really lucky. I found a bomb parking spot. I had to pay a meter, but whatever. And I went to class. I was late, but it's okay. Just once. It's not going to happen again. It's not going to happen again. Um, so yeah, class was fun. Then I got a double shot of espresso from the library. Um, shame on me for, you know, not making my own coffee, but I usually make my own in the in the Bialetti, Bialetti. And then I keep it in the fridge and I just pour it in a mug, heat it up in the nuker, in the microwave. And then I put in my coconut, pour in my coconut milk, put in my, sprinkle my stevia, stir it around. It's good stuff. Wow, I've been rambling for 11, 11, 11 minutes and 11 seconds. I should go to class soon. I have to do some textbook reading. I just remembered I have to do some textbook reading. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to have fun finding a parking spot. Um, driving a manual is going all right. Um, I recently had to go up a 45 degree hill and thought I was going to die. There was a stop later on literally a 45 degree angle like this. Like this is my car right here. Here's the light and there are like four cars here. I'm the fourth one in line on a hill literally this steep. I thought I was going to die. The poor person behind me. I was practicing pulling up the clutch and putting down on the gas because I was like, okay, I have to mentally and physically prepare for this hill, specifically for this hill. So I was going and I was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. do you like my noises? Do you like my car noises? Whatever. And, rrr, and I was trying to go up the hill and yeah, my gears were ground a little bit. Not mine, the cars, the poor car. I was like, afterwards, I like, I had to pull it over, and I was like, it's okay, baby. It's like rubbing my car. You're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm so weird rubbing my car. Don't tell me you don't rub the car. You know you rub the car. Or you talk to it. You have to talk to your car at least once in your lifetime. It's gonna happen. Okay, I better go. It's time for class. Um, to transfer my bag and return some keys, but I love you guys, and I'm so happy that I'm in a peppier mood today. Maybe I just needed a rest day. Slash, maybe I just needed more sleep. Sleep is a great thing. And so is food. Food is good for you. Eating lots of food has been helping me be happier. Happier camper. And, uh, yeah. That's all. Alright. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. And, wow, that was a real serious close-up of my face. Um, have something good today. Like some real good coffee or chocolate or something. Alright, I love all of you. Have a great one. Mwah.